Hello, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm gonna do my second holiday haul. I, I think I'm gonna wind up doing three of these. And this isn't like gifts, this is like home decor, stuff I have to just kind of stay festive, get festive, all that kind of stuff. Adelaide, what's, she's like getting really into, oh, the, she's never been a dog that like the camera turned on and she became like, you know, but now she is. So it's like, hello, I need to say hello. We gotta cut you. We gotta cut her furs and her paw and nails. She's, yeah, you is like in this, huh? Yeah. Hey, everybody. Say hi. How you doing? Mommy's had a rough week last week, so this week we're doing a lot of self care, aren't we? We're doing all the self care, all of it. Are you gonna sit on my lap this whole time? Oh, you're so sweet. Aw, you are. Oh, we'll see how long this lasts. Okay, so I have stuff from Home Depot, Target, um, like one thing from William Sonoma, and I'm gonna bitch about William Sonoma. Um, I was gonna show you something from Nordstrom, but I'm gonna wind up not doing that because half of it's a gift to somebody who watches my channel. <laughs> and this one, we're gonna have a little bit of Target, some Costco, some Etsy, one thing from William Sonoma and some Home Depot. So I think compared to the other one, this is actually smaller maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, let's get into it. Um, let's start with, let's start with Target because there's not much. So uh, Target's like, uh, it's one of those things where I really appreciate Target for putting out stuff early because you know, if you are new to my channel, I, uh, I often say that I'm the love child of Clark Griswold and Mrs. Claus and this year has just been so brutal that like I, I'm like guns a blazing when it comes to the holidays. I don't like Halloween at all. Don't at me, it's okay. I tried really hard, I just can't get into it. Um, so I was like, skip. I, I'm kinda always like that, but like this year specifically, hard skip. The point of that is I really appreciate Target's like effort, but at the same time, like there's so little that they're actually shipping or actually having in stores. And, um, but they did have this guy, it's like a vintage car. Jeremy and I are really into cars although we're in admittedly into kind of different styles of cars i really like these like vintage old clearly not safe enough like you'd have to like you know put a cage in it basically just to take your kids to school but like i love this kind of car so this was like really affordable i don't know how much it was it wasn't much maybe 10 bucks i don't know um but yeah it's just really yeah it's ten dollars it's a medium rolls royce um thanks target came from wonder shop Anyway, so it's got the little tree on it. It's really festive. I like it, honestly, because you can just put it anywhere. And I have not a good sized house, but it's still one of those, like, it's anybody's issue, right? Where you just gotta kinda create nooks and you gotta create, it's like everything's gonna feel cohesive and not skipped. So I liked the idea of this because I can just stick it anywhere. I got another one, like a red truck uh, with this like silver star and some trees and it's got a wreath on the front of it. This was I think 20, it's the large truck. Um, I'm gonna put this in Jeremy's office I think, just to kinda, you know, give him something festive. But yeah, um, just something little, something kinda cool. Uh, and then I got this sign that was $10 that locally grown Christmas trees, pine spruce fir, I don't know where I'm gonna put it, it's really not that big a deal, I'll figure it out. Yeah, I thought it was cute. That was festive. It's not, I'm not a farmhouse style person. Um, like I don't decorate my home like, you know, Waco, like Joanna Gaines. Um, I'm not hating on them. It's just not my vibe. But I do like, I like this color. And I like this, the white. Uh, and I don't hate this font. This is, this is okay. It's a, this is a little close to Ray Dunn but it's okay, like I can, I can deal with this for 10 bucks. Um, but yeah, so my general home decor style I would say is like sort of like a cozy industrial with like a heavy, heavy like vintage and rock and roll luxe influence. I know that sounds like I just totally made it up and admittedly I did, but like that's the best way I can describe my normal style. Um, and then home decor during the holidays, it's like, really classic, but elevated and magical. Like I aim for magical. 
William Sonoma. I got these. It's like the 10 inch perfect pie crust molds. This guy. Okay, so this comes with a pearl braid rope, herringbone, and basket weave. So it's nice just to kind of elevate your pies if you are into that. Holidays, you know, whatever. I like to bake. Um, I like to bake, but I hate like decorating. I'm way more concerned about making it taste really good. So I got this because I was like, oh, cool, it's like a hack. I'm all about that. So yeah. I'm excited about this. I will tell you though, straight up, I am pissed at William Sonoma in general because I ordered, I ordered a three-tiered tray, like a serving, like holiday platter of sorts um, from the Twas the Night. I think that's the name of the collection. It's really cute. Anyway, so I ordered like five things, right? I ordered like marshmallows for the girls. I ordered that pie thing. I ordered. Um, uh, the, ch the tear tray thing, something else. Anyway, so uh, I have been like charged for this tear tray thing like four times. Um, and it's really annoying because it's like it's like a PayPal charge where it's like they charge my credit card and then they say like the money's not gonna get taken out until you know, they actually ship it. So it's like a hold, kind of like the gas station or whatever, but like it's super annoying because I'm like, f it's been four times. Like figure your shit out. Um, it's just super frustrating. So honestly, off of that alone, like I understand, hey, we're not gonna have it ready until November. Why did you charge my card four different times then? Super weird. Anyway, so like I'm done ordering online from Williams Sonoma because quite frankly, I don't have time for that. It's super bizarre. I don't understand it. I've never had that problem in the past. I don't know what's going on, but I just don't have the patience for it. So yeah. If you can safely go into a Williams Sonoma if you're in one of those states that like has it under control, Godspeed, we don't live in that state, so I'm just skipping it. Okay, so let's move on to um, Etsy. Not open this, this is just like a USPS priority mailbox. I have not opened this at all. It's been sitting in my corner for however long. I have, I have pretty severe back problems. Um, I mention it kind of throughout the course of my channel, depending on the video, whenever it's relevant, um, but it helps you understand like my limitations and like why I have to tap out and why certain things can't, we just can't do that or why it's hard or anything like that. So um, I take a lot of baths, especially this time of the year once it gets colder because I get really rickety. Um, I have advanced degenerative disc disease. I have permanent mobility loss. I've had one back surgery and I really don't want to have any more because let me tell you that recovery is the hardest recovery um and it's really scary so there's like a lot of effort that i make uh just to keep me healthy and keep me like moving well and you know it's all of that right health wellness the whole bit because i take so many baths i ordered like festive bath bombs and lush's collection so far that i've seen like sucks so i was like i don't want to buy that so i ordered from this person off of etsy and they're so cute. It's called Snazzy Bombs. I got a ton of them. So I got a bunch of like little snowflake. Can you see that? I got these like snowflake candy cane scented bath bombs. They're like little. And what's nice about these, these are just like a one time use. So I just throw the whole thing in, uh, which is cool. And then I got, and she said she sent me a few more in just in case that they got broken in, the, in shipment. I got these like cute little Christmas wreath ones that smell like, I assume Christmas tree or something, but they're so cute, right? These little snowman heads and there's like a, she said there's like these rainbow or gingerbread ones that smell like gingerbread, but she was just gonna make your bath brown, just so you know, um, which I appreciated that heads up. But like, how cute is that? And they were super cheap and it's a small business. So I was like, okay, done. Um, but I, it'll help my baths because I'm like, I'm literally going to take one tonight because I just, like, I'm, I can feel it's getting colder. I'm getting ricketier. It's like, and last week was like hella stressful. So yeah. Um, but they're just so stinking cute. And then I got these bigger ones and then she goes, you don't have to use this whole thing in one bath. You could break it up into like two, but I got this like snowflake that smells like peppermint. There's like a snow, I don't even know. Trying to find other ones. Oh my God, look how cute this one is. This is a Santa that smells like peppermint. But she was so affordable and super helpful. I mean, so you can get like a, I got like a bunch because I basically got enough to last me the whole holiday season, um, taking a lot of baths. But like, look at the little Santa Claus. 
Like, isn't he so cute? Oh my God. Oh, there's another different kind of Santa. Oh, he's adorable too. He's like, that was the head. This is like whole, whole body Santa. Like, how cute. Right? This is, what is this? Gingerbread man, maybe? Like a big one? Oh no, it's a reindeer. Oh my God, look how big. You can just like rip an antler off and it'll, it's Rudolph. Um, smells like gingerbread. And then here's another gingerbread man. I'll leave the, uh -huh. sorry mama, sorry mommy, sorry mama. Here's that guy, he's a gingerbread man. And I got a Christmas tree. Um, but I'll leave her shop below in case y'all are interested supporting her. And her shipping was super fast, really affordable. She couldn't have been nicer. Uh, I hit her up and I was like, hey, I don't really know, like, what's the, you know, do I get one of these per bath or how do I do this? And she was like, really, really helpful about it. So this is my Christmas tree and this one smells like Christmas tree. So hopefully that's a good smell. It's a nice way to like, you know, support a small business and at the same time get what I actually really wanted um, and help my back because dear God, that's like a constant thing. Okay, so then Home Depot. So I got some ribbon, which I'm like really excited about. I got this really pretty ribbon that's red with gold. This is like my vibe in terms of the holidays. I got this gorgeous like poinsettia ribbon. This is 30 feet and this is 15 feet. So 4.75 meters, 9.14 meters. Five inch, six piece. Nutcracker ornaments, if you didn't see my first holiday haul. I said this is, um, I'm like really into the Nutcracker. It was a goal of mine to incorporate more and more Nutcracker decor. So this was like a really nice way to do that. And then we got these huge bows. These are gonna go outside and you plug them in and they light up. So um, you'll see them in the outdoor decor video. Don't worry, that's a, that's a video that's coming uh, in December. But like how cute, right? Uh, so we got three of these guys. We're gonna probably put them up on the posts. And then we got some of these garland ties. We're gonna put garland up. I'm gonna have decor videos left, right, and center. So they're gonna be all over the place. Um, but you're gonna start seeing those now that we're into November. I mean, close enough, right? It's like the last week of October. So like, I'll start uploading more de like home decor, holiday decor, whatever. Those will come in November and into December. Anyway, so I got these uh, 12 inch, 12 pack of garland ties. So they'll hold the garland on, but they look like you don't have this like visible zip tie that you're trying to like hide, you know what I mean? So we got two of those. And then um, the classic cinnamon broom. I'm just gonna stick this somewhere. Uh, I really love this kind of smell. This makes me really happy. Yeah, and then everything else, I need to take you to it. So let's do that. So this came from Costco. It would, it's this awesome lamppost that we're gonna actually keep inside. Uh, I was really in the market for a lamppost and this one is just gorgeous. You can see the detail on it. It's like pretty cool, right? These came from Home Depot. These are like present towers. They're three feet tall, LED, and they've got a little timer on them. So we're gonna probably put these outside um, by the treats for the delivery folks and kind of like to anchor the front door. Something to that effect. This is Santa. This, he's from Home Depot as well. And he's got like a little bunny. Cute, right? Uh, he's three feet tall too. And he's got, I like his detail. Like he's got a little Santa sack. And <laughs> it's just really cute. He makes me happy. Um, you know, it's like the little things in life, right? And then we got this for the oldest. I put this with the oldest like desk uh, for school. But it's a little nutcracker that like, <laughs> Like disco vibes. I just thought it was a really cute take on the vibe I'm going for, but it's very kiddo friendly, so it's perfect to put on her desk. Look, look, look. Hi, Mama. Go, go, gadget. <laughs> and pardon the mess, but if you have kids, you understand it's a constant struggle. Um, and I don't want to spend my whole life cleaning up after them. So I got these deer. I thought they were gorgeous and they're so affordable. I got these from Costco and they come on this little ornament and in a pack of two. So they are flanking uh, one of the speakers for the theater and I showed y'all this tree that I got last time. So that's up. 
I'm gonna put something, I might actually put the nutcrackers in there, I haven't decided yet, but it's really beautiful. And it's just so pretty when it's lit. So yeah, so I'm excited about that too. So pretty, right? Look, you can change the flare thing, so. So yeah, so this is the theater room. It's a pigsty because this is where the kids play after school a lot. Um, <laughs> and it's just chaos all the time, consequently. It's one of those rooms that like, it'll they'll grow out of it and then be when we move and we have the forever house the theater will be like a designated theater and they'll have like a whole little like wing of sorts so it is what it is they're seven and nine what do you want so let me know what y'all are buying i want to know what like has caught your eye and if there's anything good that i don't know about yet um but yeah i feel like it's been ugh. anyway so i hope you all enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching and i will see y'all very very soon bye